by Sporothrix shankai. Right. These are mainly present sporotrichosis. It is caused by a dimorphic fungi. Dimorphic fungi which which are present in two forms. One in yeast and the other one is in mycelium, right? So sporotrichosis, it is caused by dimorphic fungi, sporotrix, shankai. Where it is present, it is present throughout the world, right? The world, especially in tropical and subtropical zones. Where they are present, there is the habitat is soil and decaying vegetation. That means plant materials which are being de decaying. Infection well when occurs by traumatic inoculation, that means inoculation somehow like uh, through what you call nails or thorns by traumatic inoculation of soil or from the soil, plants and organic matter cont contaminated with the fungi. Suppose any part of these parts, they are infected with the, this fungi, sporothrixian car and somehow accidentally and in humans, they comes in contact with this, they will get infection, right? Or mode, mode of transmission, zoonotic transmission. That means zoonotic, zoo means animals. Zoo. Animals, right? So, zoonotic transmission. Transmission by animals, right? Okay. Who has it? risk? Mainly veterinarians, means veterinary doctors, those who are handling with animals, right? So, they may get the infection. Technicians, caretakers, those who are taking the care, uh, animal. Get, um, caretaking the animals, right? So they are the, the more getting the infections and owners of cats, right? So they may also get this, uh, they have high possibility of catching this infection. And site of infection, general lasers are usually restricted to the skin. Suppose any thorn or the, what you call, it will offer, uh, break on the skin. So skin, subcutaneous cellular tissue and adjacent tissues, right? This fungi, they cause dissemination to other organs, but what will happen is suppose infection is there and the suppose thorn pricked over here with that fungi. So there is possible if they have uh, punctured in the deeper parts, right? So there is a possibility of disseminating this disease to the other organs also. Like once they will uh, um, reach to the brain, uh, what you call blood, from there this blood, they may this what you call cover or they may spread to other parts of the body, right? And Alternatively, or rare occasions, inhalation like conidia. Conidia, this is how this fungi, they are uh, what you call spreads, right? Conidiophores, there is conidiophores on conidia. So, this conidia, they will present in the soil or air from there. This uh, humans, they will inhale this, right? And may lead to a systemic disease. Systemic, when they will be present in the whole body, that is systemic, right? It is now recognized that. Sporothrix shankai is a species complex of five distinct species that is Sporothrix shankai, Sporothrix brasiliensis, Sporothrix globosum, right, Sporothrix mexicana, and Sporothrix luris lurii, right. All these species, right. How to identify these? These can be identified, right, by growing them in different media. Like, supro, like sucrose, they can be grown in PDA growth media at 37, right? PDA growth media at 30, 30 degrees Celsius. Colonies will be like more than 30 mm. Like these are how demat, dematiaceous conidia present to distinguish between these five species of uh, sporothrix shankai, right? We can categorize from your yeah. differential which particular species of sporothrix is there yes okay so epidemiology how they are uh, distributed or where they are present so they are distributed they can be found worldwide we have seen sporadic in nature that means if they are present in particular area right 
and they are present in, in Egypt also. Most prevalent in tropical and subtropical zones where temperature is near 26 to 29. That is most favorable for fungi, right? And humidity is 90 to 100. In that case, this disease is more prevalent. Animal susceptibility. Which animals are most susceptible for this infection? Sporotrichosis occurs most often in horses, right? Where more in area where this horse farming is there. Cases have been also seen in cats and dogs, prudent cattle, goat swine, mules, camels, non-humus primates, birds, and various wild animals, including foxes. So all these animals, they are susceptible to this fungi. Seasonal incidence, the disease increases during the winter seasons, right? So that means during winters, this disease spreads more. Reported in animals since the early part of the 20th century. Etiology means that how they cause the infections or more about this for the shankai. It is caused by the infection. This infection caused by the fungi sporotrich shankai, right? The first case was reported in man by Shenek in 1898. On his name, Shenkai was there, right? From the United States. It appears like this under the microscope when you see under the microscope with cotton blue, right? Lactophenol cotton blue, it will appear like this. It is a dimorphic fungi. That means they are present in two forms, yeast and mall, right? That is fungi in yeast. Cigar shaped, they appear like cigar, right? So this is cigar. This cigar shaped and appearance and three to, they are three to five microns in length. They are inhabitant of plant, wood and soil. So that means this particular fungi, they are present in wood, many vegetation part, right? They appear as small yeast in the tissues and exudate. Pus, this tissue exudate, coming to this, what you call liquid coming from that. And, and at east 37 degrees Celsius and as a mycelia 22. Right. The mode of transmission, how they are transmitted, right? The mode of transmission is like their con contaminated soil or decaying plant materials, they'll be indirectly in contact with a susceptible animal. Like you take then there will be either skin infection in the skin or in the other parts of the like tissue. Or infected animals from their pus like from dog horses this their infected animals pus from the lesions they may they humans may come in contact with this predisposing factors cutaneous wounds and the presence of the animals in the muddy unhygienic stables right these are the predisposition factors morphology if you will see the morphology of this fungi colonies they grow near about 25 degrees Celsius they are slow growers and moist and Glabrous with a wrinkled and folded surface. They have a wrinkled and folded surface. Some strains may produce short aerial hyphae when they will present on cleaning surface. There will be short aerial hyphae and pigmentation may vary from white to cream to black. Right. So pigmentation will be like either white, cream or black. Conidiophores arises at right angles from the thin septate hyphae. Usually solitary, single conidiophore will be there, right? So erect and tapered toward the apex, and at the apex top, they will be erect and tapered. Conidia are formed, formed in the clusters. They will be formed in the clusters on tiny denticles by sympodial proliferation at the apex of the conidiophore. Conidiophore, it is. From here, different. This one. These like will be. These are like conidian, right? They will be in blast and they will present in air or soil. So conidiophore formed in the clusters on tiny denticles by sympodial proliferation at the apex of the conidiophore. Their arrangement often suggestive of a flower. It will appear look like a flower, right? What we have seen over here. This one. They look like a, a, a flower, right? Okay. Yes. As the culture ages with the time of aging, what will happen? The culture, the conidia, conidia are subsequently formed and sing, singly along the sides of both the conidiophores and undifferentiated hyphae. 
conidia are ovoid they are oval in shape right or not exactly oval up like almost oval so that is ovoid or elongated sometimes it may be elongated whose size may vary from 3 to 6 and maybe length and width wise 2.3 micron 2 to 3 microns right hyaline and one cell and smooth wall wall will be smooth and single cell right in some isolates solitary single darkly pigmented thick walled and one cell of overweight to angular conidia may be observed along the hyphae okay when we will grow them on brain heart infusion agar brain heart infusion agar bhi agar containing blood at 37 degrees Celsius, colonies are glabrous colonies white to grayish yellow colony and yeast like con consisting of spherical or ovoid budding yeast budding yeast like this okay they'll get detached from here budding yeast right okay so cultures of first form lesions yes cultures of first from lesions of infected patients this is showing the cultures from uh, infected patients most restraints become visible after four days of growth on separate dextrose agar sda right presenting no visible dark pigmentation at this stage tube at left right here this one since the beginning of growth tube at the same then after a certain time this will appear like this when the transfer to a brain heart infusion agar and culture at 37 